on this channel i share things to make your life easy and today i want to share one really cool interesting utility or a thing that you can do in case uh, you deal with uh, text files especially json and csv now in this video i will uh, show you how you can quickly within few seconds convert a json into a csv and do wonderful things with it if you want now if you know me from my other channel my ravi sagar channel i am basically uh, an atlassian consultant i work on i work quite a lot on atlassian tools like jira for example and from time to time almost uh, on a regular basis i have to encounter uh, json files and csv files and i have to convert them because uh, when you are dealing with issues in jira so in jira there is a concept of an issue which is nothing but uh, a ticket or a task whatever you want to call it and we have to do let us say migration or we have to let us say build reports so we have to work quite a lot with the, the data now one thing that i do on a on a regular basis is i convert json to csv now let me show you how it works let, let us say you're working on your jira instance this is your jira instance and uh, you want to maybe look at all the issues that you have in jira which is of course uh, presented here on this particular screen so you can always export them uh, in uh, a nice uh, csv file if you want but you can also export them or get a json from uh, the list of issues that are presented here for example right now we have 282 issues so you can also use rest api and on my other channel on my, on my ravi sagar channel i have plenty of videos are uh, talking about how rest api works uh, especially with jira now let us say you call this you, you want to basically get the same information using rest api you can you can use one rest endpoint called uh, rest api to search and then you can pass in uh, this uh, query so in this video i'm not really uh, going to explain how the filters and jira rest api work i basically wanted to talk about and share one simple trick to convert json to csv now this is a json file, file which is a, nothing but uh, uh, a list of all the issues like 200 282 issues that i have in my jira instance but i may want to export them maybe to another tool or maybe i want to uh, just build a report for example and maybe you're doing it programmatically so json is always convenient and it has a structure but in case you want to convert it into a nice uh, csv file all you can do is you can select everything like the whole json file and to convert it into a csv there are multiple ways of doing it i will show you the simplest one so if you type in uh, json to csv um, just do a google search in my case i'm doing i'm using duckduckgo so i'll probably open uh, the first the very first two not the first but first and second not only the first but first and second link and that is all we need to do so this is a very nice site json-csv.com you can paste your paste your json here and uh, within uh, just few seconds uh, it will uh, give you and uh, it will basically display a nice csv file that you can uh, either view online if it is not too big or you can uh, download it so this is the csv file that you can see here with uh, different columns for example i have my issue id i have my uh, issue url the issue key and uh, all the details that i need that are actually there in the uh, in the json file and you, you can of course click on the button download csv to download it as a csv file if you look at the other site which is uh, convert csv.com and slash json hyphen two hyphen csv dot htm so if you paste the same json file here you can then uh, also do the same thing with your uh, json to csv uh, thing that we just did but it, it is of course displaying it in a nice table a, a bit similar to the other one but uh, uh, this one is i believe uh, showing you um, all the columns and uh, there is not it's not really truncated i believe so you can take a look at uh, these two sites in case you want to and there are other ways of doing it i mean uh, it depends on uh, 
the programming language that you're using. You can always write a, a script to do it. Uh, um, maybe, m maybe in case you want to, let us say, migrate this information to another server. But the thing that I wanted to talk about is that you can always convert a JSON to CSV very easily. And in case you are interested, you can uh, maybe uh, write a script to basically, uh, I mean, the advantage of using a script is that you can uh, plug it in or you can use a script to uh, automate the whole process. So right now, of course, I'm using a browser just to show you how it works. But in almost every programming language, you might also find uh, uh, some libraries. For example, I know there is a library in uh, in uh, Groovy, for example, to pass the JSON, but I'm sure there are other, I mean, there are other libraries in almost every language. So that is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.